So here we're, we're going to be looking at water absorption in plants. And now when we water plants, we just assume they absorb the water. Uh, we may think it's kind of like a sponge here absorbing the water. It's a little bit more complicated than that, so I just want to go over a couple key aspects of how plants absorb water. So the first one here, uh, the main site of water absorption is the fine root hairs. So that's a key component there. The fine root hairs, because this is where there's a lot of surface area to volume, a lot of contact. Um, these, not only the roots, but the fine root hairs is where the major site of water absorption occurs. Now, once it gets through these very fine hair-like structures, it can enter uh, either an apoplastic or symplastic root. And what that means is the apoplastic root is through the cell wall. We can see that here, and we see that down here. There's also the symplastic root, which is through the cytoplasm. Ultimately, regardless of the way that the water initially enters, it's all going to be kind of funneled to and translated to these vascular bundles. We see kind of a microscopic view. So these vascular bundles are ultimately going to transport the water to the rest of the plant. Investigating these vascular bundles in a little bit more detail, we see there's two main types. There's what we call xylem, and what we call phloem. Now the xylem is transporting mainly water and some ions up the plant. So xylem goes from the roots upward to the shoots. So from the roots to like the stems or the leaves uh, in that kind of one direction. Phloem though moves carbohydrates, the um, byproduct of photosynthesis, the sugars, and it moves those carbohydrates up and down the plant from source cells to sink cells. So what that means is source cells are like the leaves that are first making those sugar molecules and they're being transported to sink cells. Those sink cells could be actually developing roots. It could be the flower buds. It could be a growing part of the plant that needs a lot of energy. Uh, and that's what the phloem is doing up and down and from the site of production to wherever it needs to be um, trans transported to. Look at this now. You don't have to go look in uh, great detail, but the um, vascular bundles, D, is the xylem and they're a little bit larger they're almost consider them almost like straws and e is the phloem fibers so we can see the e because there's moving up and down there's transporting source to sink we see a lot of smaller cells here because they're involved a lot more of the active transport xylem just moving kind of that bulk water you can think of it like pipes moving through the plant and that's moving the bulk of the water from the roots to the shoots so hopefully that helps kind of uh, illustrate a little bit the examples here of water absorption in plants